Yo, what is happening, you withering corpses? Galactic Criminal here, and today we've got Carrion Fail, some melodious technical death metal out of Richmond, Indiana. Never heard of these guys before, but it looks like they've been around for a little while. Got a couple of full-length albums under their belt, and one on the way titled Abhorrent Obsessions, set to release August 12th via Unique Leader Records. With that said, I, for one, and most certainly in the mood for some tech death. So, let's see what we get. Carrion Vale, King of the Pride. One, two, <laughs> Metal! <laughs> Get it. Flash images, seizures, look out. Safety first. <laughs>
Daniel Tilson did the video. Did a good job. Man, that was like a fucking... That was like a warm hug. That felt really good, man. Honestly, some of the most comprehensible, if that's the word I want, yes, death metal I've heard in a little while. Oh, man. I have thoughts. Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> that's the word that I was looking for. Easy to understand, catchy, but all the way fucking technical, and very, very cool. Many, many references could be derived, if that's also a word that I want here, I think so. <laughs> I saw someone in one of the top comments say this reminded them very much of being almost a, a Black Dahlia Murder sort of like ode to that band. And I can definitely feel like an influence of Dahlia in this band for sure, but a lot of other like tech death bands. I hear like some Arc Spire and some of the the, 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 the vocal timbre and um, uh, uh, patterns, especially toward like the, 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 the second half of this thing getting really, really fast with the vocals, which was so good. Just an incredibly, incredibly, incredibly well composed technical death metal track. I've heard a lot of tech death. Not a lot of it has become reactions because a lot of the time they just they try to do too much where it like it just it doesn't feel like a cohesive unit as a band it feels like every single person is trying to do their thing and then they just mash it together rather than working together right as like a, like an orchestra would you know vocals included in that because i've said before and i can say it again vocals to me especially in death metal death core stuff like that Especially more so when you can't understand the lyrics, becomes more of an instrument than it does to have meaning. I mean, you can go and read the words later and derive the meaning from the song from that. But in my personal opinion, on first listen to, 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 to uh, death metal, I listen to the vocals as another instrument. And his instrument is absolutely fantastic. A solid range on him. I can see why you could draw comparisons to Dahlia because he kind of reminds me of... Uh, it reminds me of, of Trevor, and I can definitely see why people would draw that comparison. I guess especially more so, and especially in death metal, as to him being still in, in people's minds, you know, uh, him being him passing away, being quite uh, recent. Um, maybe this was an ode to that band. Maybe not. This is my very first time hearing this band. I thought this was incredible. I thought, like, was it like a, was it like a backing track or something like that? It was like bringing this, like, crescendo push of the music that didn't sound like the guitars, it sounded like some sort of like keyboard or just sound that was lifting the music in a couple of moments in this thing that just totally blew my fucking mind. Just the just the, the structure of this song and the, the, the patterns and everything were easy to follow but still complicated enough to be technical death metal, you know, for all the elitists out there. Uh, it was so good, man, and the fucking, uh, like the solo riffing, the, like the sweeping, was very simple in an otherwise very, very technical song, but was also just so catchy and just and stood out just the perfect amount. I think the mixing was incredible, incredible in this song. What a great fucking find, man. What a great find. How does these guys not have more fucking views? Things been out for a week or so? And it's got like, it's got less than 5,000 views. Fuck off. Fuck off. This is what I'm talking about, man. How I find these like these awesome, awesome bands that are just doing it better than a lot of bands that are bigger, bigger, bigger than them, and just aren't getting the attention that they that they deserve. This is this is for sure uh, one of my new favorite technical death metal bands just from hearing one song, and they got two uh, full length albums out. I'll have to check out the band camp and get some because I'm I'm on board. This was fucking awesome to me, man. So hey, what the rest of you fuckers think of this shit? Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, there'll be a link in the description for this video. As you go to watch it for yourself, the screen full audio, and get the full experience. And as always, have yourself a fantastic evening.